We found a way to regain our powers when Monsieur Kimo comes to call, and it's pure magic. Entertaining, inspiring, transforming, we present to you the hairdo monologues. Here's the idea, and it really is magical. We put together a project and a show. None of them were trained actors. We did a show, a live show for 400 people. It was a night to remember. What we did with the project was bring them together to not just write their monologues, all 12 of them, but also learn techniques of performance and how to really tell their stories. Being bald for me was like dancing in the rain. When I talk to them about treatment, one of the first questions that often pops up is, am I gonna lose my hair? Love it or hate it, when you're faced with losing it, it forces you to reflect on the most visible aspect of your disease. You know, there are very few resources for women who are going through breast cancer and facing hair loss. So we hope to be able to act in a supportive way and to inspire patients to have hope and to have strength. The hair braids were just one of my phases growing up. Marsha Brady hair starred on my head for a long while post braids. The only thing I wanted was to look as normal as possible. And together, we can get through anything. We wanted to be able to express joy and happiness even within the situation of a breast cancer diagnosis and hair loss. And we brought in artists, musicians, and dancers, and singers because we know that the arts heal. This is where you come in. You will make this come to life. We'll create this DVD of the Hairdo Monologues project and show. And it will have great impact for women going through breast cancer, their families, and their professionals. Why do we need it? Because this will lift spirits, help spread laughter, and renew hope. Yes, you can be part of all of that. And we thank you for it. It was really, it was moving, entertaining. Wonderful. It was about strong women.